Hey, this is Rene. Welcome to this video. And today we will test the um, Hammer chart pattern uh, for the previous two years. So what we will do in this video is we will take our pattern detector, which is an expert advisor that can uh, find and trade chart patterns. And we will test the last two years for three specific patterns. So we have the hammer and um, the shooting star, which is like the reversed hammer pattern. Then we have the bullish and bearish engulfing, and we have the morning and evening star. And we can trade all of these chart patterns using this expert advisor. If you are interested um, how this expert advisor is built, or if you are interested after the videos about the backtest, then you should definitely watch um, the previous videos on this channel, or you can search for these videos, um, the pattern videos or pattern detector videos on this channel, and you will learn exactly how to build this expert advisor, and you can copy all the code so you have it um, on your own in your own MetaTrader 5, and you can do your own testing. So what we will do now is I will demonstrate it to you real quick. So we have the strategy tester here in MetaTrader 5 and this is a free tool. It is part of the MetaTrader 5 and if you click on view strategy tester, you can open it. <clears throat> in the overview, you can then make a visualized test with a specific expert advisor and we have this pattern detector expert advisor. So in total, I will release three videos for each of these um, patterns. So we will have the same settings for the backtest in every single video so we can compare them and um, there's no like advantage or disadvantage for either of these um, patterns. So we always take this pattern detector expert advisor, we always choose the euro US dollar in the one hour time frame. Um, I usually do not really go below this time frame because my experience has shown that it just does not make sense to test in one minute or five minute time frames. It is because the costs are just too high. So I would always prefer a higher time frame. So we have this custom period, which is um, yeah pretty much the previous two years, because right now I'm testing on the 15th of um, August 2022. And we choose a deposit of 10,000 euro. So uh, for the inputs, we now use this hammer chart pattern. And if I start this back test in the um, lower right corner, you can see that this program, it finds all the hammer chart patterns in the chart. And uh, for this program, I defined the hammer chart pattern so that, um, yeah, let, let's have a look maybe at the, at the last hammer signal. You can see it here. So it has like a really long lower shadow and a really short or no upper shadow. So I defined it um, so that, yeah, this lower shadow has to be a lot bigger than the upper shadow or there is no upper shadow. Like for example, here or here, there's nearly no upper shadow. And then you can see as soon as there is a hammer signal with the beginning of the next bar, we open a trade in the direction that this chart pattern indicated. So in this case, it was a buy signal. So we place the trade and then there's a fixed TP and a fixed SA. And these levels do not change until the trade is closed. So it's pretty much a just a, a chance of, or it's just a, a game of percentage if we reach the target or the, the stop loss more often. And this is pretty much just how the program works. I can show it to you um, here. So you can th see this trade, which is open right now. It is not modified in any way until it hits either the stop loss or the take profit level. In this case, we hit the stop loss. But as you can see here, for example, this trade hit the take profit. So all in all, it's just comes down to like the percentage, what, what, what happens more often. Do we hit the TP or SL more often? And this is a great way to figure out if a signal is even worth looking at. Because if we hit the stop loss more often, or if we make a, a loss, a big loss overall, 
in this period of two years, it might not be the right signal. But um, to speed up the process of testing, we will not make like one test and then have a look at it and change the settings and make another test. But instead of this, we will make a uh, we will run a optimization. So in the tester, you can click on overview and then you can click on complete optimization. And then you can see here there is a optimization method selected. And now I can click in the inputs again and I can define the settings that shall be optimized. And of course, I do not change the first setting because we want to test the hammer signal in every optimization run. And we do not change the lots because the lots do not affect the outcome of the test, right? Because if we increase the lots, we will make more profit or we have a higher loss. But it doesn't really change the ratio of how often we hit the TP and the SL. But the TP and SL points, so the distance from the position opening to the TP or SL level, this is what makes a difference. So we will check these boxes at the beginning of the line, which means that we want to optimize these parameters. And then we choose a starting point, a step and a stop. This means that in the first test, we will run this with 100, uh, 500 TP points and 500 SL points. And then we will increase the TP points by the step value. So we will run another test with 600 TP points and 500 SL points. And then we will increase the TP points again by 100. So we run with 700 and 500. And we go on all the way until the TP points are 1000. And then we go back to um, 500 TP points. And then we do the same thing with the SL points. And so the program just runs every possible combination uh, from 500 to 1000 to uh, with these two parameters. So in total, we have um, 36 test runs. And if I click on start, this program will now automatically run all of these 36 test runs. And if we have a look at the optimization result, results, they will come in uh, here as soon as the optimization runs are finished. And in this agents tab, you can always see like the process. Here you can see, um, yeah, the different, um, like the, the PC is running and there are the first test passed. So we can see the optimization results here and up here is these little points. And what we can see here is now the result. This is like the profit factor. A profit factor below one means that we made a loss like in total in the previous two years, and a profit factor above one means that we make uh, made a profit in the last two years. So as you can see with these points or also in the optimization results, most of these tests are not profitable at all. And this is mainly because of the costs. And this is one thing that many traders do not understand. So for every single trade, the costs um, do not really seem high, but um, at a total of, we have here 312 12 tr trades, uh, the costs are a lot. So we pay commission and um, spread for every single trade, and this can really make a difference. And um, if you're wondering why the amount of trades is always the same, this is because the signals are always the same. The only difference is um, the TP points and the SL points. And here in the right, at the right side, the last two columns, they show the TP points and the SL points. And we can see that with a, um, a larger distance for the TP points, this seems to work a little bit better. And yeah, and for, and also for a shorter distance um, for the SL points. But um, yeah, all in all, we can say that if I make this a little bit bigger, most of these tests were not like super profitable. Most of these tests were um, not really good. So we only had like four tests that were even in profit. So this means that in this specific market, the euro US dollar, the hammer signal would not have worked that good with these settings, like with these TP points. 
And um, yeah, also if we uh, lower the TP and SL points, it doesn't really work out. Maybe if we increase them a little bit more, it might give better results. But these are the settings that I want to test all the different uh, chart patterns with. So now in the end, we will have a look at one back test, like the best back test, and we will have a single run. So I double click this. And I think this should, uh, wait. Yeah, it will then fill the settings here, I think. And we can now run this single back test. And you can see this is like the most profitable back test of the hammer signal in the last two years, which looks quite decent, to be honest. Um, but after all, I, I think I would not trade the hammer signal as it is in this program. I would either add a uh, filter or play around with the settings um, some more or add something uh, to the code to make it more stable because most of these results were not really good. And this is not something I want to see for the programs that I run with uh, Will Money in a live trading account. So this is... Um, <clears throat> for the hammer signal, this is the first test that I want to show here with this pattern detector. In the next video, I think I will upload it tomorrow, we will then have a look at the engulfing, the bullish and bearish engulfing signal. So I will explain it real quick in the beginning again, and then we will have a look at the completely same test run. So the same optimization pattern. So we will have a, a result that we can then compare with the result that we got here in this video. So um, do not forget to subscribe so you will get a notification tomorrow when I upload the next video and maybe even tell your trader friends about these videos so they can learn something about chart patterns and especially, especially the chart patterns that are test in this series. Okay, hope you liked the little um, uh, backtest and optimization uh, video here and I will see you tomorrow in the next video.